Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. Uh, this is the fourth episode in this mini series. And as you know, we are talking about uh, ESP32 uh, S3 microcontroller with uh, around 1.28 inches TFT and touchscreen display. And up to now, I showed you how to create some uh, basic graphics like uh, triangles, rectangles, text, and so. I showed you how to use touchscreen functionality and how to use general purpose input output pins. But from this point on, you could actually go in two major directions if you want to build some more serious graphics. You can try to go with uh, Adafruit uh, image reader or you can try uh, LVGL with uh, TFT ESPI. And we are going to cover this second option in this episode and one particular part of it. So first thing I'm going to open a website of uh, this uh, library. Let me show you. LVGL and one quick introduction. This library and uh, TFT ESPI can produce wonderful graphics. Plus, on top of this technology, you have a bunch of uh, different uh, IDEs that can help you to build uh, even uh, better graphics more easier. On another side, LVGL, it's not easy to learn because it's a huge library. But being huge actually means that it uh, gives you a lot of possibilities. But there is actually one problem with it. Setting up LVGL with a TFT SPI for your ID, it's not straightforward process. Especially about set it up uh, with Visual Studio Code and Platform I.O. I actually couldn't find any video or a serious tutorial on the internet about this subject. And that is exact reason why I am recording this video. So if you're new in all of this, and especially if you don't have enough patience, avoid this subject. It's going to frustrate you. So what can happen if you miss some step or if you do something wrongly during setup process, you are going to end up with not being able to compile your code. And <laughs> trust me, that can be really frustrating. And for that very same reason, I devoted this entire episode to that subject. Setting up LVGL and TFT ESPI for Visual Studio Code and Platform I.O. So now I'm going to get back uh, to my uh, Visual Studio Code and in here I'm going to open uh, Platform I.O. I'm going to create a new project. Okay, new project. I'm going to name it. Something like this. And I'm going to select board ESP32 S3. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, I can use both this one and this one. It completely doesn't matter for uh, my particular microcontroller. I'm going to take this one with uh, Arduino framework and I'm going to select location. Finish. All right, so my project is created in source. I'm just going to change a few things. I'm going to clear this code a little bit. All right, that's better. Now, open uh, your uh, web browser and uh, navigate to this website. This is uh, WaveShare, that is a manufacturer of uh, this uh, display. And this is page for this particular model. So ESP32S3 Touch LCD 1.28. Uh, navigate to the bottom of uh, this page and look for one link. Let me show you. Uh, TFT ESPI Lib. When you click on that, you see I'm going to start downloading. I don't want to do that because I have already downloaded this uh, library. Let me show you. It's in here. And when you extract uh, this uh, zip file, you are going to get these uh, three folders. So what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to open LVGL. 
and we need everything from a uh, source directory from here we need lvgl we uh, actually don't need uh, this document for now let me check what else we are going to need we are not going to need this scripts no we are not going to need those examples you are going to look through this directory later on for now i'm not interested uh no docs no all right so i'm going to use uh, this one and this one and i'm going to copy these two or i'm going to drag it better into include folder of my project so now i'm just going to drag it all right we have it and i'm going to immediately include lvgl.h all right so what is the next step i'm going to open firefox and uh, setting up uh, lvgl documentation in here you can see that uh, in order to get uh, lvconf.h we are going to copy lvconf template.h and we are going to uh, change if zero into if one so that is exactly what i'm going to do now so from this directory i'm going to copy lvconf uh, template or or rather uh, i'm going to drag it in my include folder and i'm going to rename it first where is Re, re, not not that <laughs> rename just remove template so lvconf.h all right and if uh, zero we are going to say if one I'm going to save it and that part it's done and now what i'm going to do check i'm going to open this directory go back uh, and uh, tft espi open that one so user setup we are going to need everything from here tft drives we are going to need everything from here tools we don't need it processors we need everything fonts let me check we need that extensions we need that examples we don't need it for now docs not for now so everything except these two so i'm going to copy all of these uh, cpp files and header files tools processors fonts and extensions and i'm going to drag everything in my include folder all right and we need to do one more thing this uh, tft espi setup so what is in this uh, directory what is in this uh, document uh, in this document uh, i have uh, set up uh, settings uh, for uh, this exact microcontroller with this display so this one it's extremely important uh, and uh, we need uh, to uh, have this uh, directory one step up uh, from our uh, include directory so i'm going to open containing folder you see we have include and in includes we have all of this and in here i'm going to paste the tft espi setup okay that part it's done now go to user setup first first i'm going to comment this line now we have to uh, define driver uh, in here you are going to uh, comment uh, this one because I'm not uh, using uh, this uh, ILI 9341 driver one that I'm using it's uh, GC9A01 uh, 
and you are going to uncomment one that you are using. So what actually driver is? Driver is a type uh, of your display. After this, let me see what else we have to do. Uh, color order, I'm going to set color order to TFT RGB order. Now we have to, uh, yeah, yes, we have to set uh, width and height of uh, display. So width it's uh, 240, height it's also 240. Now we should uh, set up touchscreen uh, chip select, uh, but I'm going to use touchscreen functionality with uh, another library. So I'm not going to do that now. But now what we should do, we should uh, set up uh, SPI pins and if I remember exactly, no, these are not, I'm going to comment this. I'm not going to use these settings. This is for node MCU. Uh, of course, you are going to look for settings uh, for your uh, microcontroller and display uh, model. I don't believe that Okay, uh, load the fonts, uh, these parts is uh, fine. Okay, I'm going to make some space and what I'm going to do. Uh, navigate uh, back to this uh, TFT ESPI setups. Open this uh, document and in here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, copy this part. And I'm going to paste it in here. Uh, TFT backlight. All right. I'm not going to change this, but I'm going to use it in different way. Let's see what else we have. Well, yes, let me uh, show you. We should set up SPI frequency to this number. This is uh, 80 millions. Let me check. So I'm going to comment this line and I'm going to uncomment this line. All right, user setup dot H it's fine. Uh, user setup select let me check this one basically in this document you have to uh, select your microcontroller model and in here i have it so it's uh, tft espi setups uh, setup 207 this is this exact document with exact data about uh, my microcontroller and display so this part is fine let me check is there anything that I have to change in here. No, I don't believe so. These pins are for uh, ESP8266, so we are not uh, going to use it. And that's that's fine. Uh, so now what uh, we have to do, uh, I'm going to uh, use this only one CPP file in here. So it's uh, TFT ESPI.CPP and drag that uh, document to your source folder. You see? And now let's let's check uh, something. So I'm going to include TFT ESPI dot H. But atop of these libraries, I'm going to include one more. I'm going to include SPI dot H. So now what I'm going to do it's uh, for uh, this final part we are just going to perform test so if uh, my code uh, can be compiled this library is set up properly i'm going to create this object tft e spi object call it tft equals tft underscore e spi okay nice and I'm going to say TFT dot begin. That's all. And now we are going to perform final test. Uh, so if this code uh, can compile, everything is right. Let's see it.
Wonderful. So from this episode on, uh, we are going to start building some really nice graphics uh, with LVGL and TFT ESPI. So guys, see you next episode.